so it's Friday. I'm excited to put my hair up. Chilling here with Kaysen. My first video got cut in half because I got a phone call, but I am going to tell you guys about how to set up parties. So I already kind of set one up because it was in the other video. So you go to my account, go to virtual office, and then you will see, sometimes on your phone you have to go to profile twice and log in that way. It looks a little bit different on your phone, but down here on the sidebar, go down to parties, my parties or create a party. I already created the party, so I'm gonna go to my parties. When you create the party, if you're doing a regular party, um, if you don't have the hostess's information yet, you can put in yours and then change it later. But it's easier if you have them create an account first through your website. So that way you're not having to type in their address and their email and all that. It's already in the system. So they'll be in your contact. They'll have their profile set up already. So they'll already have 250 perks just for setting up their account. And then it's easier it has a drop down list of your contacts you can pick from or you can enter it manually so you go to your party this is the one I created it says spooky posh <coughs> your parties can only last two weeks online so see it says it closes in 14 days it automatically will do 14 days out on the calendar so it says October 14th to October 28th right now and it'll be whatever time you start it. So if you're wanting it to end at midnight, then you need to like change the time or whatever. Always make it public and always keep it open because when people go to the page, if they go through your link, it'll have a drop down menu where they can put their order in under that party. Make sure they do that because this last portable party that my aunt did I ended up having to she had it for almost a month so I created her two parties and then I put her as the hostess of each of them you have to do it before the party closes of course um, but I just reopened another one um, with that though is they get 10 perks per dollar after they reach $200 so that's the whole thing with being qualified for the month too. We should have our goals per month to at least make $200 in PV because then you're qualified. You make 10 perks instead of six perks. And that's the same for the hostess. Also, if you are making a party the last week of the month, know that perks start over the PV starts over each month. So if your hostess has $100 in perks that first week and the first week of one month and the last week of another month, it's going to be split. So if they had $100 in each, they're not going to get 10 perks per dollar. They're going to get 6 perks per dollar still because it's going to say you made 100 this month and 100 the next month. Does that make sense? Just try not to do parties overlapping in months because it's just a big headache. And some hostesses, they don't really care about the perks. Like, they just want the free item or whatever. Some of them don't understand how the perks points work anyway. They're just happy to get any. But some are like, I should have the X amount of perks points. And if you have to explain all that to them, it's just a headache. And then they'll be like... Well, I need perks points. So that way, if you're going to do it, then just offer them a product from your stock or you can add a free item to their cart when they check out. I haven't had hostesses that actually create their own cart within their own party because a lot of times they want to use perks on it. So I just... I'll just create them a new cart, not under the hostess cart, the hostess cart. You cannot check out the hostess cart until the party ends. 
So if the hostess already knows what they want, <coughs> I will make them a separate cart with their name on it and leave the hostess cart blank. I just try to not even use the hostess cart. The only thing I do with the hostess cart is it has their information so the perks are going to go to them. Because uh, it's just kind of a mess. So it's confusing. Okay, so my spooky posh cart party. I can edit it. I can change the dates on it, the times. You can send email invitations out to people. You can also send the link to the specific page out to people. Um, if you're doing it on Facebook, you could put it on there, but you can also just send them to your website with the, the link that will get you perks for them buying off of the link. So, it has me as the hostess. That's fine. If I'm the hostess, I'm going to get the perks. So, on a mystery hostess party, you could do that. Keep yourself and get the perks and then send the hostess something of equal value around how many perks they would get if for a mystery hostess or you can once you have a bunch of carts it's going to say Polly and Patty Posh and everybody who ordered in here you can go back through even if they already processed the order you can go back as long as the party is still open and click up at the top, make hostess. So if I go down here and add a guest, oh, choose an option. Oh, I'm just gonna like put my mom. I don't know. Oh, mom. <laughs> 